This video is of a case presenting with a fixed dilated pupil. Having underwent phaco and trabculectomy a decade ago, this is her best seen eye and is suffering with low vision and photophobia due to the fixed midriosis. The most effective surgical solution is to perform a pupillary cerclage. This is a challenging surgical technique but requires only a double-armed 10-O proline suture, a 25-gauge guiding needle and a 23-gauge micro forceps to achieve the result. The major step is to direct the straight needle into the iris sphincter in order to pierce through it, then the needle is angled above the iris and the forceps is used to grab and direct the iris sphincter against the straight needle, which then advances through. About 4 to 5 of this pupil needle bites will be taken to complete each segment of the pupil. Now the maneuver will be repeated using the second needle of the double arm proline. This time it is directed upwards to complete another segment. A guiding needle is inserted through a superior corneal side port to retrieve the second straight needle. Now we go back to the first needle which will be directed upwards in order to complete the intended trajectory of this needle, capturing the inferior and nasal sides of the pupil. After four successful needle bites, the straight needle is retrieved through the 25 gauge guiding needle. Now the final and most challenging segment, the second needle enters superiorly and is directed nasally to capture the superior pupillary sphincter and exit through the same paracentesis to meet the first suture thread, which will then be tied. The pupil is looking good, nicely round and centered. It is time to tie the suture threads. First a fourth row square knot is placed. The micro forceps is very handy to adequately tighten the sutures. First to place the distal thread into the eye, then pulling it through the opposite paracentesis. A second square knot is given with two throws, again to secure the knot. The thread is placed inside the anterior chamber and the distal thread is pulled through an opposite corneal side port. Finally the third and final knot is given. This time a scissor sliding knot is employed. The distal thread is partially retrieved forming a loop. Then the proximal thread encircles this distal loop two times. Then the threads are pulled through the opposite paracentesis and the nut slides and is locked in place. A perfectly centered round pupil is achieved and this beautiful technique is completed.